Inocente, I'm on the wind, says so you don't gotcha who on beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies what? Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Make sure you turn your bell notifications on so you guys never miss out on the most best and efficient cheese, man. And yesterday on my video, I had told you guys if you guys can comment as to, you know, where you guys are located. So I can see like the city city, like of the cheese man, where the cheese man town is at. And it looked like it was kind of like a battle in between California and then also Texas. And I said, wait, what? And I'm going to Texas next month. So I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll host like a little something small. But I was thinking... Imagine I did a meet and greet and it showed up like Flyboy's mic. <laughs> but aside from that, let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Catherine, if you don't dress as a mermaid with me, we divorce you, cheater. Austin, okay, say less, baby girl. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to get into, did you guys see with Catherine, also known as Austin's girlfriend and wife, uh, she's actually creating her own channel. Now, she's going to start her own channel, and a lot of people are saying this is actually a good start as to maybe, you know, maybe she's going to see if, if people start supporting her on this channel, she might, you know, separate herself from Austin. But then I started seeing, you know, what she said that she was going to be posting, and she had this to say, my. I'm just going to spit it out. Catherine is starting her own channel. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Guys, guys, I need you to spam Rosy Chill, Rosy Chill, Rosy Chill, Rosy Chill. No, Rosy, don't you? I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but and I'm so creative like that. So like, I said, what is she saying? Now, I think she's like one of those people who are kind of like, you know, those woke, woke people or like maybe she's, you know, trying to be really woke. But my despierta sister, she's trying to be despierta, despierta. Is that how they say it in Mexico? Can somebody ask a primo or somebody who's in Mexico? How do you call somebody that like thinks they're like spiritually woke? Do you say they're despiertos? Mira, está despierto. <laughs> está despierto. <laughs> They're woke, not the wokey woke. But allegedly her YouTube videos are gonna be revolving about like all these spiritual things, about reading cards, about your third eye, about your third booger, about your third leg, about whatever you wanna know, Catherine is gonna cover that. And the next topic that I'm actually gonna get into, did you guys see the whole drama with Pika de Gallo? It's happening again. And I said again. Now, if you guys don't know, she does have a past history of getting in a lot of uh, drama with Paulina and Fabio. And then she uh, went from the bad wiggies. And then she went with this other young lady, but this this other young lady said, ah, 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 and this young lady held her ground. So she had called out Piaka the Gallo for a lot of several reasons. You guys do want to check out her video, but the main reasons that I'm actually going to be posting is these two things that actually stood out to me. I'm the common denominator. Again, I've been doing three years, junior, senior, freshman, song. like three, four years. This is like my first and beef with somebody. We've been doing this for what, six months, a year on TikTok, and how many? Scandals and shit have you been in and beefs and problems with people have you been in? I think you are the common denominator, sis. It ain't me. She was literally trying to tell us, she was trying to come up with this whole game to tell everyone she was part black so she thought it was okay. She was literally gonna use Desiree's friend's grandpa's picture because he's black and say that was her grandpa. You know, sometimes I really don't know what you'd like me to say. Okay guys, so just in case you guys couldn't read the whole caption, this is the post that she posted on her spam and she was quick to delete. 
After she was getting a ton of hate and obviously she couldn't handle it. Like sis, you're the one that started all this. Zabank! Now if this is true, I think it's a little bit weird to be borrowing a, a random abuelito. What does a random abuelito have to do with it? Imagine that abuelito's on Facebook and then he sees his young ladies using him as a damn grandpa. I'd be like, God, who is how, who is this? But allegedly she was trying to use uh, one of the friend's abuelitos to try to fit into a race that she's not trying to borrow the abuelito. Not the abuelito. And then it looked like the girl was eating some bomb. I don't know what she was eating. It looked like peanuts, but then I read the comments and somebody said it was uh, raisins. She was munching on them things. But some people are saying that this is the true colors of Pica de Gallo. And a lot of people are speaking out. But make sure to comment down below as to if you guys think that Pica de Gallo is actually the common uh, denominator in all these situations as to getting, you know, in all these fights. A whole update on Harold, uh, Pekka's ex. She actually called him out for texting her when he was drunk. And then the new girlfriend that he was with left her. But it appears that she got back with him. If you're ever feeling bad, just remember that there's people who stay in contact with their exes and they say that they want to be friends when in reality they're just hoping to get back. At least you've never been that desperate. So, yeah, don't feel bad about yourself. And for the world news, did you guys see that they found 54 million bolas? And I'm talking about bolas. 54 million as to elephant tusk. Do you know how many animals they had to say goodbye to get all that? This is why animals go extinct because, you know, people like this be saying goodbye to them and then there's no more of them. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 200,000 subscribers. As soon as we hit that, we are going to do a huge giveaway. Remember, we don't fake our giveaways like all these other boo-boo influencers. We're the real deal. Follow my social media and have a great day. She's coming, get coming, son. She's coming, she's coming. En la madre, en la madre, saco diez. Ay, no, cállense, cállense, cállense. Vamos a Alejandra. Necesito el 10. Vamos. Eso, chingada madre. Bien, bien, bien. Vamos, si se puede, si se puede. Ay, a ver quién gana, a ver quién gana. Es el último punto. Ay, no, 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 no. Ay, creo que va a ganar Estados Unidos. Sí. Porque, porque está más cerca del, del, del punto, del punto. Vamos, no te preocupes, lo hiciste perfecto, vamos. Ay, no, qué pinches nervios. No. No. La madre. No, no van a notar esta pinche medalla, era nuestra, era nuestra. Ay, no, no.